Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. I am Troy David Phillips. You are at Flashback Comics in Woodbridge, Virginia. I promised in an earlier segment that I would talk about Dr. Hank Pym and the Square Cube Law and why growing really, really big isn't as awesome as it might seem to be. Once again, I am going to triumphantly shout, because science, there, because science. You know what the Square Cube Law is? It's a very simple law that governs just about everything that's big and heavy. Uh, you can apply it to biological life forms. It's the reason why a whale is as big as it is, but it has to live in the ocean, why elephants are built like they're built, and why a human body cannot get to be but so big. If you were to take an ant and increase its size to six foot, it would certainly be at first much, much stronger than me. An ant can lift more than 50 times its own body weight. But the way the body is designed, it would collapse under its own weight. Its internal organs would fail. It wasn't meant to be that big. So what does this mean for size changing superheroes like Giant Man, Goliath, Atlas, and similar characters? Well, it means that their very human bodies are under tremendous stress when they are 40 and 50 and 60 and 100 feet tall. At 60 feet, Henry Pym, Dr. Henry Pym, would weigh over a hundred tons. The linear strength of his muscularity would not support that weight. Hank Pym would have superhuman strength for about 15 seconds and then he would fall down, he would be unable to breathe, his heart would probably explode under the strain, and that would be that. Now, that's certainly not what has happened in comic book stories, but even in the earliest Tales to Astonish, when Hank Pym was Giant Man, Stan Lee wrote that Hank Pym had a hard time with any size that was more than 12 feet. Double his height and he was okay. 25 feet, that was problematic. 50 feet and he wavered and had to come back down. Later writers, however, would have Henry Pym hitting 50 feet, even 100 feet. At one point balanced across two skyscrapers, battling the masters of evil. That's because Hank Pym has normal human strength at normal size. You take a character like Atlas from the Thunderbolts. Atlas has superhuman strength at six feet. So when he's 60 feet tall, he still has superhuman strength. He can still support himself. So even though he weighs 100 tons, he can also lift more than 100 tons and he can continue to battle Thor or Hercules or Wonder Man or whoever he's battling that day. But even Eric Jostin Atlas has his practical limits. The square cube law says the human body can only get to be so big regardless of the superhuman strength that it possesses. So the next time you see a character hit that enormous 200 foot stride, lifting something heavy over their heads, you can throw down the yellow flag for shenanigans and yell, it's science.